It's a property first show, your go-to show for real estate matters. Brought to you from the stables of Baxomo Communications. I'm Lyali or Yatogun. Today on Property First Show, we'll be discussing property management with Mustafa Ewinla, making sure your priced property remains an asset and not a liability. To you, our great audience, thank you for always staying tuned. To all our social media followers on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google Plus, thank you for the love. You can still follow us on all our social media platforms at Property First Show. Have you missed any of our previous episodes? Not to worry, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Vapsomo Comes. Coming up now is our Property Showcase segment. You honestly don't want to miss this. The first property we have for you today is located in the Sapa London area of Lecky. It is a five bedroom detached duplex with a boys quarter. This property is a study in the effective use of space, thereby allowing for proper circulation of fresh air and also gives you a panoramic view of its vicinity. Salient features of this development include a very spacious living room. Yeah, very spacious. Down the hallway from the living room is a guest room. To the guest room? Yeah, downstairs. It's its own toilet and wardrobe. Yeah. Other facilities include an intercom system. It's the intercom. Okay. Yeah, so if everything is installed, like it's actually furnished duplex. Polished wood floors. Wow. Wooden floors. Yeah. It's different. Yeah, different. We actually choose this type. This is an important material. Okay. Yeah. We choose to use this type to have a very good and unique standard. Yeah, that's different. A fully fitted modern kitchen with modern amenities like a gas cooker with a heat extractor. Fitted kitchen. Exactly. Yeah. Fitted kitchen with um gas cooker laundry and every other thing a lady will want in her kitchen. Okay, what else do you have to show me? Then this is the the store. Okay, the store. Yeah, for the kitchen. And then there's back door. Yes, this door leads to the bank. A very spacious master bedroom with a balcony that gives you a view of the neighborhood. This is the master bedroom. A very big very spacious, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the balcony. Not bad. Not bad at all. So let's go to the other top of the house. Oh, I will show you the, the bedroom and the toilet for the master's bedroom. This is the, the bedroom oh, and the toilet. Yeah. Okay. That's the regular thing we have in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you don't have your bathroom, that's the we yeah. have to shower for you. Definitely. Sorry. Yeah, so everything is fitted here. Three other bedrooms, all in suite and fitted with built in wardrobes. This is the wardrobe. The wardrobe, everything fitted. Okay. Special wardrobe. Okay. Yeah. All these materials are imported materials. Imported materials. Yeah. Okay, high quality materials. Yeah, high quality materials. The madam's bedroom, which is beside the master bedroom. Very spacious. Yeah. We can fit it. It's stored. Yes. This is the, the wardrobe. The fitted wardrobe. Yeah. Yeah. So, we have two more rooms. Yeah, two more rooms upstairs, yes. Yeah. It also has its own wardrobe. Yeah. And the bedroom yeah. and the toilet. Yeah. So everything is fixed and installed. Yeah. 
rooms upstairs and there's one room downstairs. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Then this is another room. Okay. Yeah, with stone wardrobe and stone wardrobe, fitted wardrobe, and, uh, okay. and the toilet. Water supply is readily available with the provision of a borehole. Power supply is constant and mostly from public source. Potential buyer will be really concerned about the security, the power supply, and also the water in this area. Uh, there is a borehole installed here, okay. so the water supply is constant here. Okay. The power supply in this environment is constant. Okay. Yes. And for the security conscious buyers, the neighborhood is very secure and cannot be easily assessed by unauthorized persons. What about the security? The security, um, this is an estate. Okay. So before, before assessing this estate, you, have, you need to know any residents living in here. Okay. So, yeah, the estate is a very secure estate. Okay. So, no, but no, how person just come in, no stranger just come in anyhow. And for documentation, the building has governor's consent. What about the documentation? I know that's very important. Yeah, for yeah, it has a governor consent. So the governor consent is a very is a more important aspect when it comes to documentation, the title of your house. So once it has a governor consent, then you have no problem with the documentation. The second mall where you can go for your shopping can easily be assessed from this neighborhood. What are the major landmarks around this area? We have the shop right the, and the circle mall around the grid locates here. And there are two estate gates in here. So you assess this via the first estate gate. Okay, time for the big question. How All much right. is this house going for? So because of the material and the fitted uh, in the door and the lighting, and the environment, it costs just 100 them asking, then okay. the net price for here is 95 m net. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, but we see a very good client ready to drop. Okay. It, could, it could lower. discuss with the owner. Okay. Maybe. So it's still very negotiable, that's what you mean? Um, that is based on meeting the owner. Okay. But the actual price given to us to sell this place is 95 m Net. Right. Thank you yeah. very much, Daniel. You're Thank welcome. You for taking us around your property. The second property we have for you today is located in the hybrid neighborhood of Lekki Phase 1, Lagos. This development is a five-bedroom semi-detached house on two floors. Some of the salient features of this property include a very spacious fully tiled living room that includes the dining area with an adjoining visitor's toilet. Now this is the living room. It is actually very spacious. Next to the dining area is the kitchen. Entrance into the kitchen is through this wood and glass double doors. Now let's take a look at the kitchen. 
This kitchen is fully furnished with kitchen cabinets, marble tiled surfaces with a wash hand basin, gas cooker with heat extractor, microwave oven and storage. A tiled staircase with wrought iron hand railing leads up to the upper floors. Let's go upstairs and take a look at the rooms at the first floor. On the first floor of this building are three of the bedrooms. This is the first floor where we have three bedrooms and a box room. Come with me. All the bedrooms are in suites with bathtubs and shower with fitted wardrobes. The master bedroom is very spacious with a walk-in closet. It has a massive bathroom with jacuzzi, cubicle shower, a water heater, a WC and wash hand basin. You can also connect to the second floor with a spiral staircase from the master bedroom and this will take you to a private living room. This living room opens into a large balcony that gives you a view of the neighborhood. On the second floor is where we have the other two bedrooms, all in suites with shower, water heater, WC and wash hand basin. Within the premises is a boys quarters, gate and security house, a metal gate, water pumps, a water treatment plant and a large compound with ample parking space. Other features of this property include CCTV camera, electric fence, video doorbell, modern light fittings and switches, fire alarm with smoke detectors. This building is connected to the public power supply. This property is going for 150 million naira. When we return, we'll update you on all the happenings in the real estate industry. We'll be right back. Lagos State Building Control Agency demolishes illegal nine-story building in Lekki for allegedly contravening building plan regulations. Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria readjusts criteria for collecting housing loan. Federal government announces it has built 26,002 houses across the country at the cost of 197 billion naira. Industry experts express concern over abandoned properties. Flood destroys over 50 houses in Dakingari town in Suru local government area of Kebi State. Experts urge federal government to provide long-term funds to mortgage institutions. Delta State Government promises owners of demolished properties compensation. Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki assures property owners of adequate security and ease in acquiring titles. <music> For the service of a good property manager, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. He's left to ensure the appropriate maintenance is done at the right time. After this commercial break, Mustafa Iwela will be explaining in detail why you have to maintain that property. Stay glued. Hello and welcome to Property First Show, your go-to show for real estate matters. I'm Lyle Oyato Ogun. I'm Mia Kinesi. My name is Eve. My name is Imo. I'm Lola Ogumba Dejo and this is the Property First Show, your go-to show for all real estate matters.
conversation on all our social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus at Property First Show. I'm Lyle Oyatogun. Property First Show, airing on this station every Monday by 8.30 p.m. everyone welcome to the interview segment with me is a seasoned estate surveyor and valuer Mustafa Iwinla. Hello Mustafa how are you doing? Hi how are you I'm good. I'm very well thank you thank you for having us. Thank you very much for honoring me too. Okay welcome to the show now let's get straight into it. What does property management entail? Yeah property management is, is a series of activities as is carried out by a professional and uh, it's more of a direction and supervision of, in, of an interest in land or landed property. Okay. Uh, most times it's always for always to secure an optimum return yeah and sometimes the return might not be in maybe for money maybe for prestige maybe for whatsoever other purpose but generally it's direction and supervision of interest in land or in landed property for, with the aim of securing an optimum reason that's basically what property management is. Tell me, can a property developer double as a property manager? A property developer cannot function as a property manager. You know why? Property development is only an aspect of property management. Mm -hmm. Let me give you a quick scenario now. The fact that as an engineer, you are part of the team who builds a plane. It doesn't necessarily so mean you, you can, can fly it, it or you can manage it. Mm -hmm. So you can be a developer who builds houses, yes, but it has to take somebody who is trained in the field of estate man and skilled in the field of estate management or property management to understand the integrity in managing a property, mm -hmm. else the investor will run into losses. You know, there are people out there who own properties and want genuine property managers or property management companies to handle their properties. How do I identify a genuine property management company or property manager? It is very easy to identify a genuine real estate property manager. It's very easy. When you want to give your, your property to somebody to manage, mm -hmm. I want to believe that there are certain background checks you will have done about that complaint before you go ahead to consult them mm -hmm. and if not at all you must have at least gotten a strong referral from somebody mm -hmm. before you venture giving your property to that person one if you get it based on referral you can take your time out also a, a, a genuine real estate, real estate complaint or a property manager would definitely have an an office mm -hmm. Or you can walk in and verify their you know visibility they would definitely also belong to a professional body because at the end of the day it makes it much easier for the person that is planning to give you a brief it makes it very easier for him to conduct a search on you so you would have, you have to ensure that such person must belong to a professional body and he must he must come to you based on a strong referral from somebody but you, you will now say because somebody referred him to you, you will limit that to that to that person and not carry out your own background check on that person. The, the, the whole essence of this is to ensure that you are putting your property in the right place. So at every level, it takes you as a person, as a, as a, as a landlord, to verify them, verify their... Go to, even go to CAC. At the end of the day, when you finally carry out all that search and you meet the personnel in charge, you can request for their certificate of practice that they have and how many, how many professional bodies they are associated with. All that you are asking for is not too much. It's not too much. It's to ensure that you are giving a property to a reliable person who, has, who is very traceable. When I mean traceable, if anything goes wrong, you know where to link them to, you know where to meet them. Can a real estate agent double as a property manager? A real estate agent cannot double as a property manager. Like I said, property management involves you to have a special training in it, either from school or from a professional body or you know, sort of. A real estate agency 
is an aspect of property management because it is practically so part of the duties of a property manager to get tenants in the apartment, in the houses, in the hub, you know, where the vacancies are. That's the work of a property manager. That's where I talked about when it, where, where, that's where it comes to tenant selection. He's the one that would establish the rental the, the, the rent the rental rates within the locality of the property. He's the one that would scrutinize the tenants who is coming in. He's the one that would place the advert for vacancy of the property. So a real estate agent is real estate agency is an aspect of property management. Okay. It's part of the job of a property property manager. So, the, the, so it's quite um, interwoven. How do you deal with difficult clients on the part of the landlord and on the part of the tenant? In our profession, we call them recalcitrant tenants. Let me use tenants for now. There's nothing you do for them. They will just want you to come and review the house for them. You cannot do it without them. But what happens when you have a, a recalcitrant, a difficult client, or a difficult landlord in it? When you have a difficult client, let me say, from a angle of a landlord now, every landlord, most times, when they talk, they know what they're talking for. They know how much it costs them to build that house. They know where they're coming from. Some of them build those houses on loans. So they, they, don't, they don't want to hear any story. The only reason why one, a, a landlord was giving you a brief, a property to manage, I mean, there's nothing that's going to gain in being unnecessarily difficult to you. It's only because maybe you're not doing the right thing that he expects from you. And number one, you're not managing his house properly. Or, most importantly, you're not getting collecting rent for him as at when due, which is very important. That's why I said there's nothing a property manager can do. Once you don't get rent for your landlord as at when due, you are incompetent. You are incompetent. Once you don't collect rent for your landlord as at when due from tenants, you are, is it that like you are not capable enough? Or you are not just well trained enough? So now to manage tenants when, when, it, when it comes to rent payment. Because when it comes to rent payment, tenants can be very difficult. Some landlords also have some little faults, so particularly when it comes to renovating the house. Some houses obviously need renovation, but some landlords don't even want to spend any money. All they want to do is to collect rent and go. There's nothing in this life that does not require maintenance. Not talkless of a house. Everything that's a property requires maintenance. So such landlords now, when it comes to rent collection, they want to collect rent, but they don't want to spend money on the property. So, like I said, there's no reason for any landlord to be necessarily difficult for an, so an agency has given a brief, a property management manager has given a brief, unless the property manager is not doing his job. That's, then, he has, then he has a valid reasons then. then. At that point, there's no need to cause any unnecessary argument. Retrieve, retrieve your property back and give it to somebody who you think is more competent. Except the other the agent, the property manager wants to do otherwise. So what do you do for a tough one or a difficult tenant? It's simple. Before anybody moves into your house, there's a legal, there's an agreement binding you. That's a tenancy agreement. The laws are there, the tenants regulation, um, tenants obligation, landlord's obligation. At, at regular intervals, if you need to refer him back to that agreement, go back, refer him to you, let him go and read his obligations. And you know, with, with that, I don't think there can be any problem. So Mustafa, on a final note, what's your message for property managers, tenants and landlords out there? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, let me take it quickly from the property managers. My message to them is to do what they are required of. If you are giving a brief, ensure you deliver according to expectation. You can't do less. Because the landlord or the investor who has given you that brief believes so much in your judgment. Do your best. Ensure that you get the right tenant in houses. Because sometimes some, some people might be, you know, excited, too excited because of the fees they want to get from the agency fees and all that. They overlook very important, very key things. By the end of the day, it will, it will, it will make your management activities very 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 difficult ensure that you get the right tenant in houses once that is done i think you can you can only get better because that, that the investor will give you more referrals so that's it so for property for investors now like i said you can never get it wrong with real estate i, have, I know people who are retired who are, who are retired now and the only thing they live on is real estate 
that's 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 just that's where they get their salaries from now and they, and they live very very beautiful life they travel on vacations they live if you don't if i so when you if I, I said this on um, tv somewhere real estate investment is like you're planning for your retirement mm. when you grow old you don't need to wait for your kids to eat I know parents now, right? I know I know some parents now they, they, they can't do the smallest five thousand dollar thing without calling their kids. That's because they don't have any investment on ground to fall back on now that they are hold. So what you can do for yourself as an investor is to keep investing more in real estate. You can never get it wrong. Because I can say something I can say this in good authority that when you grow old, you know the value of those properties and those properties will serve as your salaries. As what you, what you believe in sustaining your life on, it's just it's as simple as that, and it makes you really independent when you grow old. As simple as that. Mustafa Ewina, thank you so much. Yes, for having us. This has been a very enlightening interview. Thank yeah, it you. Is. I hope that when we come next time, you open your doors. Anytime, anytime, anytime. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate. It. Thank All you very right. much. Have a great evening. And you too. The show has finally come to an end. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, join me same time next week for your weekly guide in the real estate market. For advertisements and inquiries, call the number 090-2023-2719 or call the number 081-86-53-3938. Don't forget the conversation continues on all our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google Plus at Property First Show. I'm Lyalee or Yatogun. Bye bye.